Hi, I'm Greg Stidson from NAD Electronics, and I'm here doing this exclusive video for Audio Advisor. I'd like to talk a little bit about a new amplifier uh, technology that uh, NAD developed in collaboration with a semiconductor company by the name of Diode ZTEX, based in Manchester, England. Uh, the product is called the M2 Direct Digital Amplifier, and uh, uh, really, there's quite an interesting story about this amplifier, and it really goes back to uh, uh, the, the turn of the century, back way back in 2000, 2001. Uh, NAD started a project to develop uh, a Class D switching amplifier, and uh, uh, there are several reasons for this. Uh, Class D designs were known for very high efficiency, and uh, uh, with uh, energy and, uh, and environmental consciousness being what it is, uh, we thought that was a positive attribute. Yet another attribute is that since the 1980s, uh, the majority of music sources have been uh, digital. And uh, we hope to find a solution that would allow us to maintain the digital signal format uh, all the way to the loudspeaker as, as close as we could get. Unfortunately, the Class D designs that were available were not very good sounding. Uh, they did not measure as well as the best of our Class A, B, and Class A designs, and they certainly didn't sound as, as good either. Most of the Class D designs that you find out there are actually not digital, they're actually analog amplifiers. Class D is simply the next letter after Class C, which uh, uh, is an amplifier uh, type as well. So uh, the M2 is distinguished, first of all, in that it is a direct digital amplifier. It takes a PCM signal in and uh, dri directly drives the loudspeaker. So in a sense, you can think of the M2 as, as a new type of product that combines functions of a D to A converter, it combines preamplifier functions and amplifier functions, but it condenses all this and simplifies it uh, into one process. The problem uh, that we found with all, all of these uh, Class D designs was that uh, there was no way to make any correction for any of the imperfections. And these imperfections can come from a couple of different areas. Uh, it can come from power supplies. It can come from the output FETs not being perfectly matched. Um, uh, it can, uh, it, it, and these problems uh, manifest themselves in distortion, uh, limited dynamic range, and, uh, and not very good sound quality. So what makes the M2 truly unique is that we have uh, a type of uh, feedback. Uh, it's really uh, best described as uh, is noise shaping error correction, but it's a way that we can actually look and compare what's at the output to what's going into the output, and we make a very tight uh, feedback loop around the output stage. So this is the essence of a direct digital amplifier, and uh, we began this collaboration with Diode ZTEX in 19, uh, uh, excuse me, in 2005, and. Uh, uh, just last year, we introduced the M2 in 2009. Um, since that time, we've received reviews in every major magazine around the world, and the conclusions are uniform that this is a game-changing amplifier. And it changes the game in a number of ways. Uh, first of all, it has very, very high uh, digital resolution. It's a minimum of 35 bits bit uh, bit depth throughout the design. Uh, it uh, operates at a very, very high sampling frequency. So PCM comes into the amplifier either as 16-bit CD or 24-bit high definition uh, uh, information. Uh, it then gets converted from PCM to PWM and, uh, and in that stage, uh, we actually drive the output stage with that PWM conversion. However, there's also a second PWM path that allows us to have a pure PWM reference. So we can also look at, take the output, drop it back to logic level, uh, compare it to the reference PWM, and create an, uh, uh, an error correction, a correction signal that can uh, will actually 
uh, correct for any kind of error. It, it matches the PWM driving the outputs uh, uh, to the reference PWM. Uh, the result of this is that we've got tremendous dynamic range, uh, 120 dB. We have extremely low distortion. Uh, we spec it at uh, 004. It's typically 0002, most of the uh, operating range. Uh, we have a damping factor that's uh, about 2,000. It's actually somewhat unmeasurable with uh, the way uh, damping factor is measured. Um, and uh, it eliminates the preamplifier and the DAC in your system. So it really reproduces uh, what we've done on the recording end of the, uh, of the music chain uh, by eliminating all of the analog preamplifier and, uh, and conversion stages. So we can take the PCM signal, directly convert it uh, to, a, uh, to a, a high power signal that drives your loudspeaker. So I strongly suggest that you read the reviews, uh, and if you get a chance to listen to the M2, uh, it is a harbinger of the future. It, uh, it is the one product on the market today that can truly uh, reproduce 24-bit 96K or 192K uh, studio master recordings. And uh, you will hear all of the detail, all of the nuance. Uh, the music comes from a completely black background, and uh, the, uh, as one reviewer said, the dynamics are frightening. So we don't want to frighten you, but we think it will enhan greatly enhance your musical enjoyment. And uh, we strongly recommend that you get a chance to listen to this, uh, this groundbreaking new product from NAD. This is Greg Stidson from NAD, and this is an exclusive video for Audio Advisor.